How's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about four really cool hyperlapse techniques from one of my favorite content creators on Instagram, Tommy Lundberg. Tommy, if you ever see this video, you're a freaking genius. This video is brought to you by Envato Elements, but more on that later. I'm not the biggest expert on definitions, but I believe a hyperlapse is a moving time lapse. And if you're a content creator looking to kind of just wow your clients with a new type of media that they haven't seen before, I would try out a hyperlapse or two. I'm gonna wow you and show you a few that Tommy has done. Let's get started. this first hyperlapse, it's rotating between two locations, we can just call it a rotating hyperlapse. First tip that I would give if you're trying to recreate something like this is to make sure that the distance between the main subject that you're rotating around and yourself remains consistent throughout the entire duration of that arc. One way to ensure this is to actually measure the distance with a string. Have your main subject hold one end of the string, then you're going to hold the other end of the string on the outside of the arc, and then consistently and frequently throughout the entire process, you're going to then remeasure that distance as you're taking photos along that arc. Second tip, if you want that really sharp stuttery look that you see in a lot of Tommy's hyperlapses, you're gonna wanna make sure to shoot with a very high shutter speed. This will cut the motion blur down. Third tip is to make sure that your subject is centered in every shot. You can ensure this by just putting up the grid in your preview screen and any camera that you're using. I've seen some people use tripods to keep things level, but in most of the behind the scenes that I see Tommy do, he's doing most of these shoots handheld. Again, really just relying on that grid to keep things level. One last thing I've realized is Tommy really prioritizes to film at really dope, engaging, beautiful locations. Look at the color on these murals that he chose to shoot against. All right, second clip, let's take a look at this. I actually really like how this looks. I can tell that he shot it here in LA somewhere, maybe like on Melrose. It would have required taking a model to a location, then walking say 10 steps back away from the model, then taking a picture, making sure that she struck a specific pose and making sure also that she was right in the center of the frame. Then he would have to have instructed her, okay, take one step forward and then have her strike that exact same pose. And then he'd again take the picture, making sure she was centered right in the frame. And then that would repeat maybe three or four times in that same location. And then they would have had to have driven to a whole other location and do the exact same thing, making sure that in every shot she was striking the exact same pose every time. I think you did a pretty good job. All right, guys, before we move on, I got to tell you about our video sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a subscription service that offers unlimited downloads to millions of incredible digital assets that you can use for your next editing project, whether it be stock footage, video templates, VFX packs, sound packs, title packs, lower third packs, social media logos, YouTube intros, or sick overlays slash compositing elements like fire, fog, and lightning. Trust me, it's a lot cheaper paying for a subscription service to Elements than for buying all of these products individually. So guys, all you gotta do is click on the link below and then make sure that you click on the annual subscription. What this will do is it'll actually unlock a 50% discount that'll allow you to end up paying the equivalent of $16.50 a month. That's $16.50 a month for a library full of a million plus of your favorite digital assets. It's worth the price. Check it out. After you've signed up for Elements and you've played around with it a little bit, feel free to send me a little DM on my Instagram made by Olufemi and tell me what you think. Guys, I love how this next one looks. You have a girl on the beach among a bunch of lemons popping out of a frame. He would have had to have had some type of photography camera on a gimbal that he would have moved back and forth in like a boomerang fashion. And then as it was moving, he had the camera shooting photos in like a burst mode. I actually looked at the behind the scenes for this video and he actually propped all those lemons up on sticks that he then removed in post. I believe he probably used like the Rotor Brush 2 tool in After Effects to completely cut the model out and then he was able to put that model in front of the animated frame in the background. All right guys, last trick is for the lazy people, including myself. Sometimes you don't wanna to have to spend all the time to take all those photos, spend all those hours outside. So what if you could actually make a hyperlapse out of video footage? Well, you can, using a default effect in Premiere called Posterize Time. Take a look at this video footage that I shot on a gimbal in the Philippines. Now check out how it looks with Posterize Time. Now check out this other footage of my bro Mickey Singh when I shot this music video for him a couple years ago. Check out how great it looks with posterized time on it. It looks like it's a bunch of photos that I took when it's actually just video with a slapped on effect on it. Posterized time is not the perfect solution, but it's a pretty cool workaround if you're hurting for time. Guys, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and make sure to sign up for Envato Elements in the link below. Thanks so much for watching guys, and as always remember to keep it chill.